Newton's first law of motion tells you what objects really, really want to do. In other words, what would they choose to do if everyone stopped pushing them around? We used to think that objects were lazy and all they wanted to do was slow down, come to a rest, and stop. We thought that because everything around us comes to a stop. If you push a box, it'll slow down and stop. If you throw a ball, it eventually bounces around and stops. But those things are stopping because there's forces on them, like friction, air resistance, and gravity. What if we got rid of all of those forces and then threw a ball? What would happen then? Well, if you take a ball into outer space and throw it, it turns out it'll keep moving in a straight line with constant velocity. Turns out objects aren't lazy at all, they're just boring. They want to maintain whatever velocity they had originally. In other words, if they're moving, they want to keep moving, and if they're at rest, they want to stay at rest. This is all summarized in Newton's first law, which goes a little something like this. All objects will continue moving with constant velocity unless acted upon by an unbalanced external force. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot in this sentence, so let's break it down. By all objects, we really mean everything in the universe. You, me, baseballs, electrons, water, the earth, stars, everything. By constant velocity, we mean moving in a straight line at a constant speed. In other words, the acceleration is zero. By unbalanced force, we mean a force that's not canceled out by another force. And by an external force, we mean a force originating from the outside of the object. We don't really care about forces going on inside of the object. We call this tendency of objects wanting to maintain constant velocity their inertia. Objects with small mass have a small inertia, and objects with a large mass have a large inertia. If you have a large inertia, it means you really, really want to keep moving with a constant velocity, so it's going to take a large, unbalanced external force to significantly change your velocity. Objects experiencing friction can still move with constant velocity. You'll just need another force to balance or cancel the external force of friction. If the forces are balanced and they cancel, it's as if no forces act on the object at all and it moves with constant velocity, or in other words, no acceleration. Imagine you're driving in a car and you hit a wall. Well, your body will try to maintain constant velocity because of Newton's first law. And if you're not wearing your seatbelt, you're gonna fly toward the windshield. It's important to note that it wasn't a force from the car or a force from the wall that made you fly out of your seat. In fact, it wasn't a force at all that made you fly out of the window. You flew out of your seat because you have inertia, which means you're trying to maintain constant velocity. You were just doing something natural, what every object in the universe wants to do. In fact, it was the car that did something strange when it stopped. It stopped because there was an external unbalanced force on the car. And when you hit the wall, there will be an external unbalanced force on you, so buckle up. <laughs>